Namaste, my beautiful queens, kings, if any. This is a video experiment. I don't know why it just got into my head. Uh, these are 78 cards, classical deck, Rider White. And uh, I will try, it's just for fun, but I will try if I can manage doing this. They are not in order. They are not from the Fool to the Lost Arcana. Uh, but I will try to explain you quickly in several words each of these cards, like the main point, point. I will try. It's just, it's a spontaneous, it's just an impulse. So I will pick up one of them and I will show it to you and I will try to do all 78 of them quickly. Page of Cups. Great news, awesome news, wonderful news connected with uh, emotions, something with emotions, with uh, uh, emotional subjects, love, relationship, so on. The new beginning, the great intellect, the good news, achieving the success. Uh, the uh, Arius, Leo, Sagittarius, man, or uh, energetically charged card, great news, great things, success. Listen to your intuition, listen to your inner voices, don't ignore intuitive, wonderful woman who can help you with a great advice, and please listen to that advice because she's going to be right. You can do anything, you can do everything, everything and anything in your hand. You possess the energies over fire, earth, air and water. There is nothing you cannot do. There is nothing you cannot achieve. There is nothing which is not within your power. Um, the uh, Queen of Pentacles, a uh, wonderful woman, the sign of Taurus Virgo, a Capricorn, means great news for your career and your finances. Also, great news for the family uh, or for the events connected with friends and family. Anyway, Queen of Pentacles sits on the throne and everything is, is good in her life, so nothing negative is here. Very negative card, the most negative, the, the scariest of them, all ten of swords, whatever you see this card, you have to be extremely careful because this is a very, very bad news. This is double betrayal. This can even cause the... Um, this is the, uh, the... even This is a danger for your life, okay? This card can be... Uh, can be signifying danger for your life. You see a man lying on his stomach with ten swords pierced in his back. So anything you ask and you get this card, it's a huge warning sign. So just don't do it. If you ask, should I do it? Should I what? Should I wait? Should, should I trust this person? Should I go there? Please don't do it because this is how it can end up with. Please don't do it. Two of Wands, I don't know what to do. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure what to do. You're an intersection, intersection decision make, making decisions. You are trying to decide what to do, what path to take, whether to turn to the left, to the right, go straight or turn back. Decision making card, one of the most complicated in the deck. But uh, also this card tells you that you have what it takes to achieve what you want but you must act if you don't act nothing's going to change the knight of wands wonderful news by the card of travelers the good news is coming if you're waiting for news the good news is coming it can be a person who is coming also it can be connected with the news in connection with immigration because this is a card of moving from one place to another from one um area of life to another anyway very good card anything connected with the fire is connected with uh, energy these cards are energetically charged so events are going to be developing events are going to be happening things are going to be improving again the advice act this is not a card of stagnation sit and do nothing if you act things are going to be good but again a card of good news <clears throat> Six of Wands, very simply, the card of triumph. This is a person sitting on the back of a horse who, after fighting after the war, after the Five of Wands, enters into the city on a white horse as a winner. So triumph in any area you're asking about. Whatever you're asking about, this is triumph. This is victory. So very positive card. 
uh, eight of swords, very negative card. You are being surrounded by the swords, blindfolded. You don't see anything and your hands are also tied. So this card talks about the situation in which you are a prisoner of. If this is about love and relationship, then unfortunately there is a very negative news because it means that you are stuck and nothing is going to change and you're going to be being stuck in this for quite a bit of time. In any other situation, of course, the um, uh, the surrounding swords uh, signify very difficult situation. So perspective for the question you have been asking about, unfortunately, not gonna not gonna happen the way you want. You're gonna have obstacles. You also have a risk to get into very very unpleasant circumstances like you're put in the corner so if you're asking should i do it uh, will i uh, be able to succeed so on and so on please uh please think twice before you do something if you see this card uh next two of cups wonderful in any aspect any any situation is positive if it's a business great business partner if it's a love it's a great wonderful love a lot of emotions it's about profession you're going to do what you love to do if it's about anything you can think of the answer would be wonderful of anything you can think of very positive card in any aspect and every area of life you can possibly ask for even if you are asking should i buy this vacuum cleaner and you get this card yes go ahead and buy it <clears throat> nine of pentacles is a great card for finances the great card for, card for career the great card for anything and everything except for love and relationship in love and relationship it says that this person prefers to be alone even if it's a golden cage this person will stay in the golden cage golden cage suppressing uh feelings and emotions if it's about you this is advice for you to stand uh, strongly on your feet and concentrate on yourself and your own past to be strong and and uh, um, be in your power like a magician card next uh, seven of pentacles in order to get something uh, you need to work on it this is a garden if you need your garden to give you fruits and vegetables you need to work on that garden you need to play you need to water the garden you need to fertilize that garden negative card in love and relationship means uh, no 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 matter how much you're going to be waiting uh, this tree unfortunately is not going to give you apple because this is not an apple tree this is probably the oak but in any other any other situation it tells you that if you being patient uh, if you simply do what it takes uh, then you you get your fruits when the spring when the autumn's gonna come you're not gonna get your fruits in may you're not gonna get your fruits in uh, june but you need to wait till autumn so development of a situation slow steady but you have to simply do what you have to do you will get the results <clears throat> Uh, six of cups uh, in love and relationship means uh, unfortunately that the uh, uh, immature relationship like two children so you don't really uh, you can't really expect the um, you can't really expect the commitment competed relationship uh, uh, from six of cups but at the same time this is a good card in every other aspect because this is you re receiving the results this is you getting um, uh, becoming successful this is you being generous this is uh, the destiny being generous to you with whatever you asking about this situation and you see this card things are going to be wonderful things are going to be good uh, also it's connected with all the situation which has connection with your past or all with your childhood meeting with the friends from your childhood or doing something you wanted to do in your childhood but never done so now you have an opportunity to do that so uh, this is good period in your life so this is a positive of card uh, the world card is also very positive in about everything because this card has two words which which means happy ending uh, in love relationship this can mean if people are uh, if people have been argue in argument with each other this means that they're gonna make peace with each other but um, you have to see the cards surrounding this but in everything else this is great card this is uh, a wonderful results this is wonderful uh, 
harmony, harmony in your business, harmony in your life, harmony in uh, inside of yourself, outside of yourself, so on and so on. This is the uh, the um, maximum, the destination which you are trying to come to. So it's a very positive card, great card, success, um, success, uh, great results of, of the things you wanted to achieve, uh, dreams come true, happy ending, so on and so on and so on. Next, uh, uh, Wheel of Fortune also, obviously, the Wheel of Fortune is a Wheel of Fortune. Everything what is happening right now, it's your destiny, because this is a card of a destiny, and everything happens what is supposed to happen. Uh, the future is being decided by the higher forces here, and now this is turning point in your life, whether you want it or not, but it's a turning point in your life. Uh, this situation is going to change. Uh, whether a bad situation, good situation, this situation is going to change, but because this is a wheel of fortune, of course, the uh, meaning of it is success luck and happiness but you can't control what is happening with the will of fortune it's a dynamic which you have to just let go and let the higher forces trust the divine the expression trust the divine this is the card which you um, uh, which give you this message so even if it sometimes seems to you not fair what is happening the future still in the future you understand that things which are happening right now it showed but this card is going to give you the results you were dreaming about you were dreaming about i'm tired already of talking uh <clears throat> chariot extremely uh energetically charged card breakthrough everything change you are jumping from step one to step ten uh ex extremely breaking through all, every wall out there breaking through all the obstacle out there uh you are gonna just Get there where you need to do. You decide to do something. You uh, you finally doing something you were afraid to even think of. This is huge breakthrough in your job, in your life, in your career, in your hobbies, in your uh, love and relationship. But this is a two, two way a complicated card sometimes in love and relationship. But I'm not going to get into it because I cannot to tell this all in uh, in 36, 30, 30 minutes. But uh, your enemies are behind. All your obstacles are behind you are on your way to success so this is yes to anything you're asking about but this is a card of action action solution of all the problems you're achieving what you want to achieve you get towards your goal leaving behind everything what was stopping you you're brave you're awesome you're wonderful new stage in your life uh, new past uh, moving from one place to another so on and so on this special is the, this card loves those who act who don't sit and wait until things happen three of cups wonderful 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 card of celebration meeting with the friends also gives you both positive answer to any question whatever question you are ask, asking this gives you the positive card so it's a reason to celebrate whatever you're asking about it's going to be a reason to celebrate in the future so this is uh, this is pretty much it Five of Swords, very, very negative card. Please be very careful. You see here the battlefield and uh, uh, the person holding the swords of those he just killed or he wounded. So this is a very big warning. This card is a very big warning. So you have to be very careful about any situation you possibly are asking about because, um, because this is a card which tells you you have enemies and someone will be acting towards you without any empathy any compassion people are going to be cruel to you world's going to be cruel to you so be careful this is a card which says be very careful and uh, this situation you are asking about is going to be very stressful which this situation is going to take some time to become free so you need to look at the cards around to see what you need to do in order to make this situation uh, pass faster so it's a distractive situation so um, sometimes you just have to you, you, if you can stay away from it, if you can, whatever you're asking about, if you can stay away uh, from it, stay away from it in love relationship, you, the best thing you can do is stay away from this person because this is unfortunately the card of not just a narcissistic person, but together, especially with the devil. This is a card of a manipulator, a person who is a psychopath, who enjoys your pain. So please, you have to stay away from this person. Uh, if, if this is about any relationship, 
relationship, a business relationship, a love relationship, please stay away of this person. If it's about the situation, please try to stay away from this situation or find the best solution how not to get hurt in this situation. Very negative card. Um, uh, the... Uh, the Queen of Wands is a wonderful card, uh, connected with feelings and emotions, a positive answer to whatever questions you are asking, uh, because Queen of Wands is uh, intuitive, wonderful healing. If it's a person, it's a wonderful person. If you're asking about situation, then it's a positive uh, situation, a nice situation, and of course, this is the... Uh, this is a help of a woman who is a queen of cups or our empress and also a sig significator of course of, of a woman but if it's not about a woman then uh, this is situation connected with emotions with feelings and uh, this is a good card with a good prognosis for the future um, and um, which whatever you're asking about it's going to give you a lot of uh, um, a lot of uh, joy a lot of wonderful feelings emotions and also uh, you can get your dreams come true because your your creative potential is going to be fulfilled uh, very negative card a five of pentacles very negative card both in a love relationship and in finances and in everything you can think of you have to be very careful because you see the two beggars here walking on the snow trying to find the place to to hide um uh, Unfortunately, a very negative in questions connecting with real estate, connecting with money, very negative. So please, you have to be uh, very careful when you see this card as the answer to your question. Um, this is a card of, of crisis. This is a card of loss of money. This is a card of bankruptcy, card of a lot of uh, problems rising, card of missing, not having enough, not having enough even bare necessities because you see two beggars here. Um, very serious losses. Please be careful. Also can be, um, of course, it's connected with materials because all the pentacles are connected with materials. So please, uh, please be careful. It's going to be a crisis. Whatever you're asking the cards about and you see this card, you have to uh, be careful. If this, this situation is unavoidable, then you please ask your deck what I should do to go through this and what I shouldn't do to go through this. So, um, of course, never take loans if you see it, never give money, borrow money if you see it, never open the business if you see this card, better wait. Um, you know, this is like this. And unfortunately, the goals are not going to be achieved. Uh, the uh, business is going to not work. Uh, it's mistakes. It's catastrophe in business. It's material losses. It's even poverty. So please be careful when you see uh, this card uh, it's a warning it's a card of a warning <clears throat> what was I thinking when I decided to do this my my voice is like horse Empress wonderful 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 card pretty much in every aspect because Empress uh, has the nickname the mother of the world so a uh, great mother wonderful things great things awesome things so uh, whatever you're asking about this is the uh, awakening of the nature good news great news always always great news um, uh, good in finances good in things connected uh, with usually usually with love and relationship uh, usually the events are developing very fast when you see this card it's uh, it's uh, this uh, holy water it's energy energy which makes everything alive everything you wanted is gonna come true if you planted something it's gonna grow if you start something it's gonna grow it's uh, good for health it's good for uh, homes for studying for businesses for anything it simply also means that you are under the protection of the uh, of the uh, sacred mother uh, of the uni of the universe of the world it's a good card it's a creation it's a beauty it's a material things it's great great in every aspect and every question you might be possibly asking very negative card hangman unless you're asking uh should i <clears throat> this this card only has one positive aspect 
if you are asking, will I become a student? Will I be accepted as a student of this university? And you see the hangman, it means you're going to be accepted because hangman means you're going to be studying for quite a bit of time. Uh, other than that, this is a negative card. Why it's negative card? Because it's a card of stagnation. You just keeping hanging on. Nothing is happening. Destructive relationship, destructive situation, but also this can be your uh, your choice because it is you can see his hands are free so he can free himself very negative in love relationship very often means that you are hanging out there uh, by your own will there is a crisis nothing is happening nothing is going on nothing is changing no steps are taking but you just keep on hanging out there uh, nobody knows why it's, so you can just untie yourself and, and keep on moving uh, also um this is a card of when you choose to sacrifice yourself to something. And this is also a negative. Like there is no need for you to sacrifice unless, of course, you like in a medical institute, then it's a good card. You're going to be hanging out there until you graduate and pass all of them for everything else and anything else. Uh, it's simply that you are you're sacrificing yourself. You're hanging and waiting for something probably not going to um, to happen. So it's like make yourself free and keep on going just you know stop being a victim stop being a victim of circumstances you or your life belongs to you you it's up to you to change your life your hands are free untie yourself and do what you want and do what you must eight of wands has the nickname of the arrows of love events happening very fast very positive cards very uh, very great card i don't think i have enough time but anyways very good very very optimistic things are gonna happen things are gonna changing everything is moving everything is happening uh good times uh, you are going to uh, to get what you want and also please look at the cards next to it but your plans are gonna um are gonna be positive unexpected events but great events you find yourself in a uh, right place in a right right time surprise of a destiny anyway good card um a wonderful card, awesome card, great card. The uh, strength, everything you're thinking about, everything you want is going to happen because of you. You have the inner strength, in, inner strength, you have the outer strength. You can, it's a card similar to uh, the card of a magician. You can do anything and everything uh, because you have wisdom inside and you are uh, capable of doing things outside. So uh, success, um, hermit. They are a hermit or the wolf or the or a wise man. One of the deepest cards. I don't know how to speak, how to speak quickly about it. But this card is is pretty much telling you everything you are looking for is inside of you, not outside of you. Inside of you, uh, in love and relationship, of course, this is a negative card because um, a hermit is alone and lonely. He is not with anybody. He doesn't need anybody. Uh, so the card of loneliness, but a card of great for your spiritual development. And uh, the card is, uh, of course, as an advice, it tells you that uh, usually you need to stay away from it. If you're asking about something, should I do it, should I not? Usually don't, uh, usually this is negative. Our answer uh just simply stay away from it and uh, um, you have to really stay, give yourself some time, give yourself some lonely time, try to understand what you really need, try to understand what you really want. Sometimes this is finding a, a teacher, uh, sometimes this is... Uh, um, you need to understand that uh, you must concentrate more on your inner world than your outer world so you can understand what you really want and what you don't want. This is what you must uh, do right now. Uh, King of Swords, great for everything except for love. This this man is not good for any love and relationship, period. Situation-wise, he is smart, he is successful, he is great, so... Uh, uh, if if you're asking about situation, then uh, the situation probably will be positive because you're going to be 
uh, having new goals, you're going to get new knowledges and you're going to do what it has to do. You are going to be good at your profession. You are going to be good at your career. Uh, you can you can decide very, very complicated things. You can uh, see uh, through the things how they really are. Uh, you are very effective, you are uh, really great, you are very courageous, so things are very positive unless love and relationship, and love relationship is negative. I don't think I have. Two of Swords card of stagnation, you are not doing anything, you are frozen. Uh, the things uh, the things are going to be not moving anywhere. This is a card of things are not happening, period. So uh, what it means, this... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, in love and relationship, it means this person not going to do anything. And it means if it's about you that you don't know why do you even uh, do this situation. Why the heck should you should you do that or should you not? Should maybe not. Uh, waiting in this situation, waiting is going to get you nothing. Uh, but if it's not love relationship, then unsolved problems um, uh, are still there. So you need to really... Think very carefully and see the things how they really are because you don't know what to do. You're not sure what to do. You're trying to find the solution, but you need to take this uh, blindfolding thing off of your eyes so you can find the solution. But you, you need to really, really see how things really are before you find the solution. Or oh, sometimes this is a card of... Uh, um necessity of finding the solution in business or in relationship again before you find it you have to learn the situation and tower of course the the world uh shape the world is falling around you the complete change of a situation sometimes positive because tower brings freedom in a prison you were uh, in the walls of a prison, prison is now tumbling down because you would not have the courage to come outside of those walls. So the universe and gods and guardians are shaking this tower for you so you can be free. I know, I don't think so. Five of Wands, this is the, um, the competition, but they are not fighting with blood. Competition usually connected with... Uh, uh, with your career or something, uh, something connected uh, with uh, with uh, usually connected with your work. So there's uh, some some competitors. You have some competitors out there, uh, but at the same time you need to um, to stand on your interest and you need to do what it takes. Um, you have to believe in yourself, and even if someone is becoming aggressive towards you, you have to protect yourself and you have to stand strongly. What you are uh, what you are believing at. <clears throat> Knight of Cups is a good again a good news connected with emotions and feelings. Uh, he's uh, he's always bringing good news, even if it's a, not about love and relationship. It's a good news which make you feel good. Don't have enough. Ten of Cups, great and awesome for every question and any question. Love, relationship, career, finances, anything. It's good for everything. And uh, the full, completely new beginning, but in love relationship means you are dealing with a immature person who is simply, uh, unfortunately, counting on his committed relationship is uh, would be a would be a mistake. But you have some temporarily fun with him. That's all you can count off. But anything else and everything else, this is new beginning, beginning of new stage of your life, beginning of new career, beginning of new inspiration, beginning of something you've never done before but your heart was in it beginning starting something new exciting and wonderful and that wonderful will be touching hearts of the others as well temperance temperance is the angel it's a card of balance all about the balance whatever you're asking about the balance has to be there if it's about love and relationship also balance but if it's about love and relationship means this person is satisfied how things are so it really means it's not going to change any where move anywhere but in everything else it's a good and positive card it's a card of balance balance yourself balance your work and your rest balance your uh, spiritual and material keep yourself in balance this is the best thing you can do you know keep balance keep that golden middle card of a golden middle sun is great for anything and everything under the sun <clears throat> 
No, I don't have. Devil is bad for everything under the sun. Love and relationship, addiction, illusion, uh, career and finance, and someone tries to fool you, someone tries to use you, someone tries to manipulate you. Any aspect, any question would be be careful. Try to stay away from it because you're going to be fooled, you're going to be used, you're going to be manipulated, you're going to be taken advantage of. Very dangerous. Uh, page of once is a bringer of a good news. He knocks the floor and says things are going to be happening. Things are going to be happening fast. They're going to be happening soon. The things are going to be great. The things are going to be awesome. So be ready to receive good news and see great times in your life. I am out of time. So, of course, ace of once is the chance. It's always a chance. As aces are always a chance and the right choice. And you're going to find yourself in the right place in the right time. Great card in material uh, for material wealth also activity tells you act tells you act you're gonna have inspiration you're gonna have strength you have what it takes to do what it takes in love and relationship really quickly the beginning of new relationship the chance of new relationship at work success at work uh next okay nine <laughs> nine nine of uh nine of ones is there um, you are going to feel that there is some danger so you have to protect yourself you have to stand stand here if we remember Elton John's song I'm still standing this is it and also it tells you that you're gonna be doubting if you are capable of that also this is negative card in love and relationship means uh, that this person resists any love uh, in a relationship resists and protects it himself all way possible and impossible uh, because at the, in the past he had some issues and he doesn't want to start it again and please uh, if this is an advice please don't be negative don't dwell in your negativity thinking that all the world uh, is against you but at the same time you have to be on alert in any other situations uh, <clears throat> okay um, there, uh, there are three of ones, the, um, the beginning of a new period of life, a really, really good, happy beginning of new period of life. I don't know if you see the ships out there. There are the ships out there, the good perspective, the, the job with good perspectives, especially good card for questions connected with um, um, retail, with, with selling something, buying something. Now, for love and relationship, this is not a bad card. It can mean that uh, the uh, relationship are going to be developing, moving forward. The, in this card, man decides whether he wants to stay and, and really he expects a lot from this relationship and he is waiting a lot from it. Um, you need to look at the card nearby. Uh, in a health, it's a good health. If it's a question about someone getting ill, this is recovery from, uh, from whatever issue this person had and it's a good for uh, for commercial good for money good for about anything uh, next four of once the marriage card of course uh, traditional marriage card you see a castle on the back of it and you see a man and a woman getting married um, uh, the, <clears throat> the, the one of the most one of the uh, most loved card in a deck the uh, dreams come true wishes come true if you have some goals and you're asking me do I have what it takes to achieve the goals you absolutely are going to achieve these goals the card of uh, great results are uh, also great for friendship great for any relationship business relationship friendship relationship or for love and relationship of course it's a marriage card of course it's engagement of course it's commitment of course, it's understanding of each other. Of course, it's new perspectives. Also, this is a card of new perspectives in life, in career, in traveling. Great card for a house. If you are uh, waiting for some news, you will receive the news and it's going to be a great news anyway. Positive, positive, positive. Great, great, great card in anything you can think of. But there are 10. <clears throat> the 10 of ones you see. Oh, boy. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, it's 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 easy. It's not easy. You think it's easy. Uh, <clears throat> Ten of Wands. 
um, you see the period, uh, the period of time you're asking is going to have obstacles and are going to have difficulties. You see that yeah, this uh, figure is barely carrying this once and um, also if someone you're asking about health, it might take a lot of effort for someone to actually uh, bring the health to a good uh, position. It can be uh, lots of different issues and problems um, in life. So be careful if you see this card. It tells you there are going to be obstacles, there are going to be issues you will have to be dealing with. So if you're asking, should I do that? Is it worth of doing it? Should I take this job? Should I take this vacation? Should I take this position? Should I? This this advice you, you know what you can, but it's going to be so hard that you might be able to want to drop it all because this person dreams to just drop it all and run away. Uh, unfortunately, negative card in relationship uh, because uh, this is... Uh, both of people are tired, but usually if you look at one partner, he is tired and completely exhausted. He doesn't want anything. There is no warmth. There is no gentleness. There is no tenderness. There, there is no understanding. Uh, they're all kind of issue. Uh, very often, this is a card of a married man who is so freaking tired of his marriage that his uh, responsibility is overwhelming responsibility. But this is a man who dreams to get away from his marriage but he will stay in his marriage and he's not going to get away from it so uh, it's a very negative card in love and relationship next seven of wands seven of wands is a fight but a lot of things are against you but you see uh, <clears throat> You see right here is a man, even though he is fighting against six people who uh, are there, but his position is winning. He is on a top. So still, it's a, it's a victory. Uh, so you're going to be fighting for what you believe, for what you know. Uh, you're going to be criticized. Uh, there are going to be people who are going to be against you. All this once here showing people against you. People against you. Uh, people who uh, don't agree with you, who don't want to let you do what you want to do um, so but you if you stand strong if you stand what you believe if you keep on fighting if you don't give up and keep on fighting uh, this is a card of success of, of you gotta get successful uh, also this is um uh uh, this is a card of, uh, if, if it's about relationship, unfortunately, there, there is not a very positive card of relationship because there are tons of things which are against this relationship. It could be all kinds of things. It could be uh, jealousy. It could be uh, tons of obstacles. Uh, it could be also the third party relationship. Could be lots of conflict. Could be lots of things. Usually this card needs to be clarified with another card to see what is there. There is a chance for this relationship to work out, but more chances the relationship are going to be broken uh, because uh, because it's impossible to, you know, in relationship, it's if you just keep on fighting sweat and blood, what kind of relationship is that? It's a war, right? Uh, so, <clears throat> next we are going to uh, take, let's take, uh, let's take the swords. Let's take the swords. And, um, and the first one is, the guy who I never want to see in love and relationship and you want, you don't want to see him either because this is the child whose world had been uh, collapsed and uh, broken to little pieces as now he's trying to break uh, everyone else's word. Uh, a lack of empathy, lack of compassion, very negative in love and relationship. You see this in love and relationship, whether this situation or uh, it's a person you're dealing will, with, you need to run away because this one enjoys when it hurts you. Uh, unfortunately. Now, uh, the uh, situation-wise, this is the... Uh, um you might get criticized. You you might be criticized by uh, by people, and you need additional information if you're doing something. This card tells you that you need to get additional information before you do something. Unfortunately, in the business, this is also uh, means that some someone is working against you. Someone you need to be careful. Someone's doing something behind your back. Uh, but um, if this is a, if this is a health, unfortunately, you have to warn people uh, to go to the doctor and get, get diagnosed if they have any uh, pains in their body, especially it feels like, like something is like, like a knife, like a sword out there. Also, uh, the card, unfortunately, of argument, of uh, 
people being irritated with each other or someone criticizing you, someone using, unfortunately, those things which called uh, shame, uh, blame, um, and uh, and guilt. So um, you have to be careful. As advice, you have to be careful and get most of the information you possibly can because someone can uh, harm you um, because someone is war uh, doing something behind your back. So this is the page. Now the... The Queen of Swords usually uh, is a woman who is, who can be uh, on your side or co uh, could be on your side or could be uh, not on your side. So um, if this is a situation wise, then it gives you pretty much the same um, uh, the same advices that was given to you in a page of uh, of sorts. So get it's, it, this is a card of intellect. So you have to stand what you believe. You have to do what you believe. You have to get now all the information you need to possibly get on this situation um, uh, because uh, uh, but also if, if uh, it's about you as an advice it tells you that you have to be uh, very independent you have to stand strong on what you know in your profession in your business you are going to be right if you do what you must especially this is a good uh, card for profession connected with the intellect and uh, the um, the details, the, the uh, attention to details. Now, a four of swords, of course, the card... Um telling you that uh, this is a card of stagnation. In love and relationship means nothing is going to be happening. Simply nothing. You see this man is lying on his uh, uh, on his bed, but it, it looks like, it seems like if, if it was there, actually the, the tomb, but it's actually he's resting, he is alive. So in love relationship, stagnation, stagnation, nothing is happening. Unfortunately, in marriage, it means people are going to be staying together, or if the people are living to get together, they're going to be staying together, but are uh, they going to be living like uh, like uh, roommates? Um, in uh, situation wise, this card says that um, it's going to be peace, but you need to take a break. You need to take a break and give yourself just a rest and uh, try to analyze the situation clearly. Analyze it. Where you're right, where you're wrong, what you really want to do, uh, what you don't want to do, uh, what needs to be done. But because this is card which tells you that you are um, physically, emotionally, on not every level um, you are exhausted so you need physical moral peace you need to meditate you need to rest uh, you need to be a hermit for a while you need to stay alone for a while you you need to give yourself some time but in business in um, all kinds of things that this card also says that nothing is going to be happening so like uh, um, but at the same time it's a good for if someone got sick this is uh, if you uh, get enough peace and you get enough time then it's going to be uh recovery not as fast as possible but um the recovery uh, is going to be happening. So this is the card which advises you that. So we're going to go to the next one. Uh, of course, a very negative uh, one. Uh, the one we, we never want to see, of course, three of uh, of swords. You don't have to be a tarot reader to understand this card. Three swords pierced through heart. Extremely negative in uh, love and relationship. Negative in anything and everything you can think of. Broken heart. So, of course, it's a negative answer to any question. Should I do it? Should I go there? Uh, should I? Should I? Should I? <clears throat> Absolutely not. You shouldn't do anything. You shouldn't go anywhere. Please be very careful um, because of the, um, this is in love and relationship, in friendship, in any relationship, this is betrayal. Uh, this is the information comes out to you which breaks your heart, but at the, the same time there is a certain positivity in this card, uh, which um, uh, you find out the information which, uh, which is going to stop the situation in which you or be you were used and you were lied to and you were um, probably manipulated so of course uh, negative answer to it should I go there no should I start this no should I trust this person no will this person be faithful to me no is he faithful to me no it's it's just a negative card a broken heart so just simply be very 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 careful is like double careful triple careful if you see um, this card period just be be very careful if you see this card and we uh, are going to to go to the next one the next one is the uh, knight of swords so so if it's a person it's a very negative person he's even uh, more dangerous than <clears throat> 
uh, more danger than the knight of swords um, this one unfortunately uh, is capable of bringing you down putting you down another person without empathy and kindness and uh, compassion um, and um, unfortunately he's 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 you know her he likes to be in conflict he likes to fight he enjoys fighting he enjoys bringing people down putting people down um he is a very you know his tongue is very sharp and his mind is very cold situation wise this is there it could be um the you would have to go somewhere like to the trip where you didn't plan to go before in a business it it can uh it can mean that you are going to have some long losses in job you it can mean that you will lose the job uh, also um, if uh, in, in health then um, then please be careful again if you feel any pains which like a knife inside feels like a knife inside you have to you have to go to the doctor again I already said in, in relationship absolutely terrible he's cold uncompassionate unkind he absolutely capable of not capable of feeling anything not capable of softening anything uh, please avoid conflicts uh, this card in a situation wise tells you please avoid conflicts and also keep your mind very cold uh, please do not sacrifice yourself uh, in the situations which no don't make any sense if you are in relationship with this um, please be careful because if you will sacrifice yourself to this man simply this man is going to uh, to destroy you. Uh, this man is going to destroy you physically, emotionally, uh, and uh, <clears throat> simply uh, emotionally, physically, mentally, so on, so on and so on. This is unfortunately a very negative card. Uh, next one is the uh six of uh, six of swords you see the the person is getting away, sailing, uh, getting away, sailing away. So um, obviously, of course, this is the uh, like a running away. If uh, it's a, about love and relationship, then this person probably you're gonna separate with each other. Probably you are on a long distance relationship and it's just gonna stop existing because you are uh, not, you know, uh, simply, you know, very often this is the. Um, the positivity of this card is usually it's connected with complicated situation, which is. Uh, uh, very um, very complicated and this means that you are coming out running out of this complicated situation now also this is a card of uh, telling you which don't don't start something if you don't know about it there are chances of your success if you don't know enough about it are very very slim because you you can lose completely if you start something without having what it takes also uh it can change it can be really big change in, changes in life but uh, are they going to be good are they going to be bad it depends on you um, now um in order to get to the new uh like leave one bank of a river get to another bank of a river you need to leave this old bank of a river you need to get rid of situations which are bringing you down people which are bringing you down uh leave the past in the past and start new uh, unfortunately this is a little scary card because you don't know what is there you there is nothing no guarantee that out there is going to be easy but uh this is what the card is about seven of swords is a card we never want to see the card of deceit, the card of lie, the card of manipulation. Uh, I consider this card more dangerous than the three of swords. Someone is manipulating you, someone is lying you, someone is trying to use you, someone is trying to take advantage of you, someone is uh, putting you in danger. So uh, very, 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 be very careful. The seven of swords, uh, I'm sorry, seven, the, uh, the nine of swords, this, uh, the card of fears, doubts, insomnia depression so on and so on uh usually this card is connected if it's in a love and relationship the person is obsessed and relationship usually are hopeless and per and absolutely don't uh bring you anywhere in wherever you want to to be um so it would be very good if you really look into it and you really decide if you really want to stay in it and if you really want to be there uh so um like 
this person need you know need a healer need to work with a psychologist need to work with uh, somebody with a counselor with motivational uh, speaker because this this condition can be very long and this woman can be obsessed with a man who doesn't simply give a damn and all he brings her is a, is a pain also fears usually interesting thing that fears which comes with nine, nine of swords are um, are not really known they're not going to come true those fears those fears doubts uh, uh, exist only in in your imagination they don't really exist so you know really really this needs to be addressed uh, we're going to go further and we are going to go into pentacles <clears throat> My goodness, I think I challenged myself too much. Um, pentacles, of course. Uh, King of Pentacles is an awesome card for anything connected with finances. Can you imagine yourself a poor uh, King of Pentacles? So, uh, advice, be strong. Um, be uh, be strong and be uh, believe what you want. It also can be a man. Uh, a man of the, of course, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. A man who, um, who will be on your side and who will help you... Uh, uh, if, if if it's a situation wise then everything is going to be wonderful everything is going to be good but you have to be strong and you have to believe in yourself don't doubt yourself uh two of pentacles is um, um a complicated situation in love and relationship uh you are being in a third party this always means not just a third party but this person or oh, never has one uh partner he has more uh, more of two partners or three partners or who knows what what in love and relationship again he doesn't have any feels feelings and emotions he comes and he leaves he leaves and he comes he player it's a pathological liar and a player he's always playing if it's not a love or relationship it means that he uh it means that you're going to be uh, doing a lots of things here and there there and here so try to balance yourself try to not overwork yourself things are going to be uh, fine but just try don't don't stress and exhaust yourself but you're going to be dealing with lots of things uh, in a particular uh, period of time you're asking the cards this is the <clears throat> the two of pentacles and uh, ten of pentacles absolutely the best card you can think of it's a yes to to uh, everything it's a uh, luck it's a great it's a gift it's financial um financial oh gosh uh, yeah i'm already speaking russian financial wealth marriage uh, marriage family mansion house kids you are becoming the part of a clan you are becoming a part of a big family if you are marrying this this man uh, this man has a certain position in society so you are entering a certain position in society uh, it's a yes to everything should I do it yes will I become successful yes do I have what it takes yes uh, will uh, will this um, this contract be signed yes uh, it does this person uh, bring great things into my life yes so very positive card the next one is um, six of pentacles so it's a giver in love in love in relationship you can be giver so please be careful because you give you give you give you give please make sure that you receive as much as you give um, if we're not talking about uh, love and relationship this is a positive card it's a creativity and it's a great success it's not only you make money enough for yourself enough for your family uh, enough for everybody else but you also are capable to help those in need so you can imagine of course uh, very little problems can be connected with six of pentacles unless i already said in love and the relationship you have to be sure that you are giving as much as you're receiving because very often in love and relationship this means you give you give you give you give and you you never receive the knight of pentacles is wonderful as well uh, uh, this is you being ready to do something, to start something. You're going to feel enough uh, life energy. You're going to feel enough knowledge. You're going to start a new job. You're going to start a new business. In the future, it's going to be great. In love, relationship also means that a new a partner coming towards you and Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. He is very serious. Pentacles are the best in the love relationship unless it's a seven of pentacles. It means that he will treasure you. He will respect you. He will love you. 
you um, he's a little bit not as much romantic as let's say the cops but at the same time he will be there for you he will cook for you he will make sure you are uh, you are happy you are taking care of this and this and this positive card uh, next one is eight of pentacles also in love relationship a very good card um, because um, <clears throat> it means that this person had been along for quite a bit of time uh, usually it's an experience he had in the past and uh, he's ready for you and it's usually it means that people who met each other they uh, uh, they uh, uh, met each other after they have been alone for some time so it's the first and last love let's say uh, he's not very young and he gave uh, gave up already on idea of meeting somebody uh, you are you know whatever age you are so you you had harsh experience and you gave up on love he love he has uh, had uh, harsh experience he gave up on love but you met each other and uh, suddenly you realize that you didn't leave before that this is love and this is understanding the development Developing of relationship, deepening of relationship, it's when two of you becoming the creator of, of, of your own paradise. So um, also positive card uh, in other aspects, um, uh, eight of pentacles, uh, but uh, it's wisdom, it's it's life wisdom. Uh, in, um, in my uh, Chiro Marchetti Deluxe deck, it's a man um who is also building some something so a little bit be careful and don't don't be in a hurry do what you do you know with all the attention to the details don't be in a hurry and everything you do is going to give you a reward at the end uh one of the best card uh on my minor arcana <clears throat> if not the best is the ace of pentacles in love and relationship it's long lasting love and relationship usually marriage uh, of course the card of wealth of course the card of receiving money uh, but the uh, the best um, meaning of this card sounds like this the gift of a destiny so the gift of a destiny which is given to you and and everything brought to you on a silver plate and it's not just uh, uh, it falls into your lap just because but because you have this it. So it's a very positive card and it's a yes to the answer to about any question. Uh, Page of Pentacles is also a very good card. Um, um, this is the um, the young man, you know, if, if it's actually, if it's about pregnancy, that pregnancy is going to happen and uh, you're going to have yourself a little boy. Uh, if it's about relationship, also the step towards building committed relationship because Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, those are committed guys. They see um, a woman in their life as a treasure, and he can be a man slightly younger, but he uh, has what it takes, and he's learning fast, and he is committed, and he is faithful. Uh, so also, yes to any question, but uh, situation-wise, it can give you the advice that please learn, make sure that you know enough uh, before you start doing something, but usually this is the uh, the knowledge you know you just uh, just accumulated this knowledge and you might be doubting uh, will you be able to apply it in real life yes you will be able if it's about studying should I start it yes study study it you will be able to apply it in real life so pretty much yes to your every answer three of Pentacles wonderful card in love and relationship means progress uh, <clears throat> in relationship development on relationship not probably as fast as people wish to but still uh, it will be um, it will be developing also in anything else also developing in a Chiro Marchetti Deluxe uh, car, Deluxe deck there is a man who's building Notre Dame in three of pentacles and uh, he already built the roofs the roof and the walls but I'm sorry he already built the walls but the roof still there and things inside still needs to be done but he is committed he knows what he's doing and he will get there so just stay on a track do what you must do what you know do what you are sure you know how to do things are going to be developing exactly how you want them to be developing uh, but just be patient and simply keep on doing things are going to be good uh, I am done with pentacles and uh, I only have a couple more minutes <laughs> left 
Seven of Cups, uh, unfortunately, uh, in love relationship and everything else, card of illusions. Being illu de illusions, delusions, please be careful because some of it can come true, some of some of it cannot, but it's usually dreaming but not doing. So make sure uh, you look at the cards nearby. Um, Eight of Cups, necessity to leave whatever it is, love and relationship, or it is something else. The advice of this card is simple. This is not working anymore. It's a, it's a part of stagnation. Yes, it was dear to you. Yes, you invested a lot of your work. Invested a lot. It can be business you were building. Could be a relationship you were building. It could be something else you were invested your time, investing your knowledge, investing your feelings, emotion, blah, blah, blah. But advice here. This is simply not working anymore, so walk away right there, out there. It's time for you to start new. Yes, yes, it's hard to leave something you have been building, but it's time for you to go. It's time for you to start something new. One of the best cards, if not the best, Ace of Cups. Um, great for everything under the sun because this is a, a true love, a true love which finds you just by itself. Um, and which you don't have to look for, you, you don't have to need. Uh, this is the openness, this is the inner peace, this is harmony, this is full of energy, everything is great, awesome, fantastic. This card answers to any question, is a great, awesome, and fantastic, as simple as that. King of Cups, uh, <laughs> uh, the Cancer Scorpio or Pisces, of course, um, uh, this is the situation which involves a lot of emotions and feelings. Usually it's a person who feels deeply, who has intuition. But if it's a man, then this man can be a manipulative a little bit. Because King of Cups, especially if it's a Scorpio, they like to manipulate. So you need to look at the cards around it. Situation-wise, this situation will bring you uh, a lot of satisfaction emotionally. So pretty much it's a yes to your... Uh, Question now, this is also, yes, everything I just said about King of Cups. This is true about Queen of Cups. Nine of Cups, very negative in love and relationship. Uh, narcissist, 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 triple narcissist. He is a heartbreaker. Women come to him, bring the heart on a silver plate and give it to him. And he just takes it and put these hearts behind him. Very negative in love and relationship. In everything else, it's a positive. Everything is going to be so good that you're going to be a little bit like oh like a little tired how good everything is going to be uh four of cups um uh, boredom, card of boredom, very negative in love and relationship. The chance is given from heaven to this man, but he's not taking it because of his just the way that he thinks and well, the way of his psychological situation. It's just having too much. It's a yes to uh, many of questions, but uh, if it's about love relationship, will this man do something? Will this man take this chance? Will this man build something with me or with your client? That would be a no. He's sitting there being bored and over you know he's seen it all done it all and he he'll keep on sitting doing that um i i have one more card in cups <sighs> um this is uh, also negative card of the uh, five of cups please 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 this is uh being stuck in the past i am i am disappointed why should i have i should have done this i could have done this should i would i could i, I am disappointed i'm scared i don't know where to go everything is lost everything is lost no this is just a, the stage of your uh, of your mind and please you have to always say to your client not to dwell in this and get away from this because you see that that Two cups are still full, but he doesn't see it because in front of him all he only see those which are falling behind him are still cup. There are still chances, there is still happiness, there's still joy, but he's like, Oh, everything is lost, I'm depressed, I'm upset. Make sure you now warn a person and see what can be done so this person doesn't stay in this condition because it's it's creating blockages, uh like um invisible, so don't dwell in it. Major Arcana Death card always means the ending connected with number 13 of Valkyria Death and also always means, if very short, always means that the situation ends and sometimes it means a situation which has already ended whether in love relationship it's ending of the situation, it's a breakup, uh, it's uh, their divorce, it's... Uh, 
it's the ending of their situation ending there is something which has has to end sometimes it has the uh the uh such expression the horse is dead the horse is dead get off of the horse there is nothing you can do uh, no matter if you are dense around it if you sprinkle it with holy water if you pray over it if you do anything and everything this card shows you this situation has ended or is going to end or probably this situation had been already ended but you just don't want to admit this so the transition the ending the transformation one situation ends one door is closed the one uh then another one is opened so uh the again the ending transformation uh this is the situation which would end any way there is nothing you can do nothing you can change nothing you can um somehow influence this is not a the uh actually scary card the ending of situation uh the uh the people uh who um did tarot cards in the past would see this card more of a positive than negative because the ending sometimes this means the ending of uh, excruciatingly difficult situation uh the difficult situation ended your poverty and uh, is going to end your uh looking for the job is going to end you're going to find a new job your horrible abusive relationship is going to end you can start heal and start new it's moving forward it's uh, getting rid of something which works no more which is not needed no more um, this is just that fighting with it makes no sense accept it and uh, move on this is what we can say about death here a font uh, very often in love and relationship this card is being um described wrong because hierophant is a pope hierophant is a loner it's like a hermit so uh this card never means marriage if it's by itself you, if you do the spread for love and relationship you see you need to put one or two clarifying cards and see if this card actually means marriage looking at the cards next to it uh because uh, otherwise this would be a person of a high moral principles who uh, would follow those principles and he uh, prefers to walk his past alone also if you are doing the spread in love and relationship for a married man Eurofont can signify a married man just like an emperor uh, and uh, if it's a third party relationship it means that uh, this um man will stay married he will keep uh to his family uh this if um if this is the card of a person it's a person just like a uh, hero found like a pope of a high moral principles and uh if this is the card signifying two people who are married or a uh, two people who are husband and wife or who are living together this uh means that they uh, have the uh, the common face they believe in the same thing they do something together and uh, they um they actually uh very good for each other it's like they are from the same tribe uh this is a card of traditionalist uh, this is a card of respectability this is a card of following a very high moral principles uh having very uh high you know so-called conservative uh, ways to see things um so on so also the uh, hero fund means uh, as an advice that please follow uh, don't do anything uh, against uh, the moral principles against what you believe in because this would be meaning the mirroring arcana of it which would be uh, the devil everything must be done according to the law every everything must be done according to the rule if this is about your partner if that's an honest person can you trust this person yes you can trust this person uh, usually it's a positive answer to most of your question if you do everything right if 
if you do everything following the uh, highest uh, morality you can possibly have so you have to realize clearly what your goal is and that you can achieve it only if you follow uh, the moral principles and the rules uh, because the devil mirroring of arcana uh, of hierophant uh, will means uh, will mean very wrong choices you might be making so you cannot break the balance you cannot do anything wrong if you see hierophant everything is gonna be good everything is gonna be right uh, it's gonna be a positive answer to all of your question uh, if you follow the highest standards moral quality uh, rules following all of the uh, safety measures so on and so on this uh, this is what this card means moon major arcana and uh, this is probably one of the most uh, complicated card to explain very quickly and very shortly but in major arcana i consider this card one of the most negative because this is the card of a uh, twilight the card of uh, solstice the card of a shadow this is a card of secret danger of a secret enemy of the secret manipulation someone is trying to use you someone is trying to hide things from you uh, the only positive aspect this card has the only only positive aspect the moon has is that that uh, it's a good uh, card for people who are asking the question do i have intuition uh the psychic abilities the ability to see through things and uh, beyond what eyes can see that would be uh, the positive the only positive uh, meaning of this card other than that this is a uh, horrible in love and relationship this is horrible in everything and else in love and relationship this is deceit this is uh, infidelity this is cold card this is the card of again all kinds of manipulation and being used uh being lied to being um used uh with with hidden motives uh the third part relationship person is not sincere with you uh this is way to nowhere it's a disappointment it's a double game uh the biggest uh problem with this card that people get stuck in this situation for sometimes months and for sometimes years because this is also the card of lame excuses lame excuses you give to your partner or to your business partner lame excuses you give to yourself you probably know that this is all wrong but you are staying in this relationship because this is what so-called codependencies or neurotic dependencies all the adrenaline dependencies uh, uh, the wrong 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 people it's a wrong partner whether it's a friend it's a love partner it's a love relationship it's a business it's uh, bad news it's bad events it's bad false friends it's the people who are talking behind your back it's your risk to be uh, talked very badly and people thinking about you very badly uh, but it's still very hard to refuse from this situation this is all the narcissist their relationship with narcissism manipulators and psychopaths you have to be very very careful when you see this card everything is really really bad this the card was a very bad reputation it's dangerous but it's danger you do not see it's a danger which is being hidden from you it's some it's something secret so uh, also it means that you have uh, with this situation a lot of bad emotions a lot of emotional up and down someone envies you someone is jealous someone is lying to you someone wants to fool you someone wants to use you danger 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 please you need to do everything possible and possible to get out of this situation which uh, which you are asking about and this card comes out if you be brave enough and you see clearly what the situation is because this is one of the biggest issue with the moon that people refuse to see they they kind of feel and understand but they refuse to see what's just in front of their eyes they refuse to accept this is a liar this is a cheat this is a manipulator this one wants to use me this one is abusive
losing me. I need to get away. Uh, if you clearly see uh, this situation as it is, and if you get the courage to get out of uh, this situation, things are going to get better. But you have to be extremely careful because nothing, nothing shows more danger than uh, this card. It's every step you make, every minute you stay, there is a risk, there is a risk, there is a risk. Four of Pentacles, extremely negative card in love and relationship, extremely. If you see this card, no matter what your question is, you uh, better not get into any relationship with this person because this is a card of greed. This is a card of someone who would want to lock you in the basement um, uh, for, for himself, but at the same time, nothing good will come out of it so this one is is possessed by emotional greed and material greed he does not want to share neither himself neither his emotions he hardly have any emotions neither his feelings nor his money there is no perspective with this person in love and relationship in relationship he is uh, sitting on the sack of golden coins he's sleeping on the mattress filled with golden coins but this mattress is in the basement and he's dying of hunger it's the card of greed so this one will keep being the same uh, just as he is he will never move his finger for you he will never do anything about you he will resist all kinds of changes changes possible and impossible he is sure that he is right is absolutely not nothing absolutely nothing to do with this person it's absolutely waste of your time also it's a very narrow-minded person only his opinion is right he's gonna count he's gonna count potatoes you are putting into your soup uh he is um uh, it's uh, absolutely impossible to build a relationship or marriage with him or any. He's just not capable of sharing, not capable of much of compassion, not capable of much of empathy. Uh, simply, he, he, he will try to keep you for himself, but he will not want to participate in nothing. I mean, he's not going to pay uh, for your car fix if, if, if it's broken and you have no money for fixing it. He's not going to hold your hand if you get sick he's not going to uh, hug you when you're crying it's just really really horrific in love and relationship this is a terrible card if not in love if not in love and relationship um then um this is uh, the situation in which you would have to work a lot in order to build something, in order to build your business, uh, in order to keep your health in good relationship. Uh, you need to, um, uh, but when you're trying to really build something very, very, very reliable in your life, when you're trying to, you know, to be a very reliable, you must be, you might be uh, overdoing it. You might be working 17 hours a day in last 30 years. And in your attempt to be stable financially, to be stable, I don't know, otherwise you might simply lose the will to life you you can miss how your kids kids grew up you can miss how uh, the love has gone from your life completely uh, you can miss a lot a lot a lot of things because in your attempt to keep your stability you are concentrating too much on the material things it's important but at, at the same time you need to remember about temperance about balance um, you really need to pay attention to other things that doing everything 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 possible to keep and to build your stability you're trying to control everything you're a control freak you're trying to plan everything uh, you are ready to do whatever it takes if even if you destroy your health or love or life in order to achieve this financial stability and to keep everything you have, not to share it with anyone, to have this hard ground under, under your feet. But at the same time, this is a card of selfishness, of greed, of too much of your desire to keep what you have achieved, not to share it with anyone, to, to be living in fear, to lose something. So uh, it, it can lead to a 
your uh, energetic stagnation, to your kind of being stuck, to be burned out, uh, to uh, to really, you know, uh, stay all by yourself, but with those golden coins, but no one else to give you smile or share laughter with you or something like this. This is the uh, this is the meaning of this card, but at, at the same time. Uh, at the same time, um, the uh, positive aspect of this card, uh, the positive aspect of, of this card is stability, uh, getting st stability, getting control, uh, getting something what gives you more peace, uh, and um, you, uh, but try not to kind of drive yourself crazy with anxiety and depression in order trying to keep everything under the control. Uh, if the situation is complicated and this card appears, actually it shows you that things are going to be under control and you'll find the, the way to get out of it. You will find the solution to uh, the, uh, the problem. Major Arcana, <clears throat> number 11, Justice. The thing is that this can be both positive and negative card. Why is that? Because this is the card of so-called karmic justice. And this card comes and tells you it is time to pay your karmic debts. It's, it's time for you, honey, to deal with the consequences of whatever you have done. We reap what, what we saw. The karmic justice comes and you need to pay the debts to a lady karma. Uh, she, um, she has come to give you justice. So if your thoughts, if your actions, if everything you had been done, because you always do the spread for a specific situation of course for a specific situation so uh, by the specific situation of course you know if you had done everything right if your uh, thoughts were pure uh, then you can expect a reward for those who have nothing to uh, be ashamed about to be uh, sorry about this card shows that the reward is coming you are getting your uh, justice if you you were blamed, for example, unfaithfully, this card means that you will be found innocent. Uh, if you had done everything right, you will get your award, reward, I'm sorry. But at the same time, this card can be very discomforting if this, uh, this person you are doing the spread about or about yourself, if not everything is clear, not everything is good, not everything is right, then justice comes to uh, make you pay uh, for uh, for what you have done, because uh, this is really uh, the card, um, the card which can be different uh, for uh, everyone. Actually, this is a good card, a positive card for um, for exams. Uh, this is the positive card if you are asking, is it is this a good specialist, for example, uh, a good doctor, a good lawyer, a good boss? Uh, for example, a question: Will it be my? Will it be a good boss for me if I work for this company? This would be a very just, a very fair boss, and um, uh, at the same time, justice. Uh, when this arcana appears, this uh, also tells you the decision you are making right now is going to have consequences um, in uh, probably years to come. So be very, very careful about the decision you are making right now, because make sure you make this decision based on a higher, just like with Hierophant, on a higher um, uh, moral principles, on the principles of um, you must treat others uh, as you treat you. Uh, so your decision, but of course, well, if you're dealing with someone who's treating you wrong, if you're dealing with abuser, if you're dealing, well, dealing with a narcissist, dealing with a psychopath, dealing with a boss who is treating you wrong, of course, then just a decision for you would be to leave and be done with uh, those people. So um, you need to do what is right, what is right and what is true. And if you do what is right and what is true, you will get your award. And please don't try to cheat the destiny. Don't try to cheat karma. Do not try to achieve getting something what doesn't belong to you. This is big uh, warning for your clients with third party 
body relationship. If uh, this woman wants someone's husband, uh, means that this man belongs to someone else. And uh, this is big warning that if she wants to to get someone else's husband or someone else's position or someone else's business, things are going to be really, really bad. Um, the outcome for this person. So think a lot. Think very carefully before you do something, uh, before you decide to do something, because this is a significator of if you do what is right, things are going to be great. What if you do what is wrong, things are going to be wrong. And this is uh, true about any situation, every situation, so on and so on, uh, whether it is in our relationship or in uh, um, regular spreads. Next one, the star card. Uh, very negative. Please, uh, please explain this card correctly to your clients or to yourself because everything I saw, it was wrong. Uh, so uh, in the relationship, unfortunately, this is a negative card. What it means? It means that the star, the star is very far in the sky. You look at the star, you can see the light of the star, but you don't see any worms and the star is far away. You can see the star, but you cannot have the star. You cannot hold the star. You cannot uh, do anything about it. So unfortunately, very often, uh, this is the uh, so-called uh, online relationship with no uh, no perspectives because very often online relationship it's someone who already has a wife and kids and everything else. He does not want to cheat really, uh, but he wants to have some some fun. So he starts all this relationship online. It's a lot of um, fun, but at the same time, a woman on the other part of the world hopes for something, but that's not going to happen. And so star shows you there is no hope out there. That person is far away and not achievable and unavailable. Just like you cannot touch the star, you can only see it in the sky. This is the same time with the star. So in love and relationship, this is... Um, a negative car. So, uh, as I already said, can be an online relationship or two people who are in different cities in different part of the world, and it can last for years. Uh, it can be a relationship of a woman with a man who doesn't even know uh, that she has relationship in her heart with her so-called you no know, uh probably uh it's a woman who is in love with a famous uh, person or celebrity or someone like this could be relationship with people who know each other idealizing each other but kind of inspire each other but there is nothing in real life so so-called there is no real they are not real they are not living together they are not meeting uh each other on regular basis they, their bases are not going to the movie they are platonic and they have no perspective in the future uh, so called so please understand this uh, that yeah maybe it's fun for that one person not fun for you maybe it's fun for both of you as long as you understand that this is not going anywhere at all as long as you understand that, that uh, this is just uh, just the relationship with the star in the sky as simple as that the relationship with the star in in, in the sky platonic relationship with something far away you cannot have if you are okay with it that's okay if not okay with it then you have to do something about it uh so it's simply uh, there is nothing in the future there now in a regular basis what this card means then uh actually it's um it's a positive card if it's not love, love and relationship. Uh, it means that you have a wish, you have a goal, uh, and you are kind of following your true path. And you, uh, no matter what happens, you have to have the faith that your uh, hope uh, or, uh, will come true and you need to keep on working, um, uh, working, uh, working to your goal. You need to keep on, um, 
um, doing what you are doing and things will get well because also star means that you are being guided like star in the sky uh, shows you the light and you can see the path this is your star in the sky so uh, follow uh, follow your gift follow your dream follow your goal uh, don't pay attention to some issues don't pay attention to some problems you just need to keep on going uh, be sure that your intuition your feeling your guts don't fool to you you will achieve what you uh, want to achieve but you need not to stop you need to keep on going uh, you need to keep on doing what you're doing and you know uh, you need to keep on uh, going on keep keep just keep, keep go and uh, don't lose your hope don't lose your inspiration don't lose the belief in your gift don't lose the belief in your abilities and uh, things are going Going to come true because this is a card of dreams and hopes uh, coming true as long as you do what it takes you will achieve great success because also star means you can become a star a star in your uh, trade uh, no, no matter what trade you are doing so uh, this is the um, this is the meaning of this card about situation, uh, any difficult, any complicated situation, this star shows the uh, the light at the end of the tunnel that this situation will improve. Um, but again, you cannot stop. You need to keep on doing what you must. You keep on doing what is supposed to be done and the solution will be found. The help will come. These things will improve and your award will be uh, received. Next, Emperor, uh, well, in love and relationship, very, very negative card. Not very, very negative, but uh, simply if he chooses to be alone, it's impossible to... Uh, you know become his wife because emperor chooses the certain type of woman he marries and that type of woman will uh increase the power of his throne usually that that type of a woman he marries uh, or adds him resp uh, adds him the um the fame adds him the power adds him uh the um reputation so on so he is not a good uh for love and relationship if, if this man is married and uh someone is asking you about him there is no way they would ever leave marriage if it's a husband unfortunately uh he will give you stability he will give you home but he's not going to give you uh any feelings emotions and anything like this it's a tyrant uh in a relationship it's a tyrant in everything else he is dogmatic he is dominating he is controlling so uh, simply uh, being honest with you, if you see this card, relationship with this man, whether you, whatever you're hoping for, is not a very good idea because uh, the most positive things you can get from relationship from him is you will get your house, you will get your home, you, you will get your stability, but you would have to follow uh, millions of rules which he would expect and demand you to follow. Uh, he sees things very clearly. Uh, he is not into Susu Musu. He is very sharp. He's pretty much like the ace, uh, like the um, king of sword. Uh, but uh, in marriage, if he's your husband, he's going to be your husband, and he's not. He's not going to leave you, and he will make sure that you have what you need. His kids have what what they need, uh, so on and so on and so on. But uh, unfortunately, not not a lot of fun. Now, in everything else, it's pretty much a very good, a positive card in any situation in every situation because it's a guard or a card of a good financial situation of stability uh, also someone can be um, coming into your life with a lot of power who will help you in your circumstances um, also will help you with your business help you realize your plan so on and so on this is uh, good in um, <clears throat> in career because it's a uh, responsibility it's uh, you have what it takes to be the boss it's uh, someone who knows what he wants know how to does it not how to do it pretty much a very um, um very like it's a it's a card of um almightiness so-called just like the emperor uh, just like i'm sorry like a magician it's a positive arcana and everything else uh this um this card will tell you yes uh, you know 
what things are gonna be good uh things are gonna be great uh they are um, your ideas will be realized your uh business will develop your have you will have great perspectives in this uh company but be active be active and have a will to act be active and have a will to act and be also persistent be persistent don't step back uh, don't step back don't uh, allow anything slow you down you will get exactly what you want you will create you will achieve you will grow um everything is going to be great so that's a good uh, good positive card and everything else judgment uh this card has a nickname the gate of karma another a karmic card just like with uh with the ju uh, with the justice <clears throat> Uh, actually, uh, in love and relationship, uh, this card, it depends on the situation, but usually it means changes in your, uh, in your private life. And it also means that someone from your past who did not do things right uh, uh, will uh, want a chance to do things uh, uh, this uh, to do things right this time or it could be both of you maybe you know you were too young and maybe you told to each other both of you told to each other something what was uh better not to tell and uh now years passed and you uh met each other again and now you uh you have uh the chance to do things right because now you have a skill now you have the uh, uh, now you have skill, now you have the uh, life behind you. You can forgive things you've done to each other, forgive things you uh, said to each other. The old wounds can be healed. Uh, <clears throat> uh, it's so-called uh, the untangling of karmic debt and the untangling of the issues which were uh, supposed to be untangled a long time ago. If this is for um someone who is alone for a long uh, for a long time uh this uh, card shows that soon uh, very soon and suddenly and unexpectedly this person will meet not just someone but someone who is given to them by uh, by a destiny because uh, the judgment you see that the old life like the old life is over and you see that there are the graves and people are rising from this grave so it means that um the old life before this card appeared the old life will be over and a new life will begin the new life will start uh it, it and in this this card has the positive meaning uh in new life means you will awaken you will feel like you are like born again uh big changes love which you thought you would never find anymore uh meeting someone special uh, all the feelings are emotions you feel young you you feel full of life you feel ready to conquer the world so it's a positive card again again and again um believe it or not again i'm repeating myself it's a positive card any situation which was not solved for a very long time whether you couldn't find a job or you couldn't find a, a place to live you couldn't uh, decide whether you need to finish it or you need to uh, stay in it this is going to change because everything what was not being solved will be solved all the problems will be solved all the things are gonna end in the positive way the crisis will be over uh the uh, the troubles will be over the job will be found the money will be found uh, the wish will come true life will start shining to you uh from a new perspective uh it's a good um and it's it's good for your soul it's good for your body it's good for your money it's good for your career it's changing of a situation for better quickly changes of the situation of uh, or just changes for the better changes for the better obstacles are gone um problems are gone uh get you know be ready to act be afraid of nothing opportunities will appear things will appear there is no time to be hesitant no time to be cowardice no time to worry you got to act if it's about career it's about relationship it's about anything the beginning of new life and the lovers i will tell about uh, this card very quickly it's a card of a choice 
a very important choice, which most of the time this card shows the choice about love, but this choice is never easy, but it can be a choice about your career, it can be a choice about anything under the sun, and you have to understand that you need to add one or two cards to see what choice better to do, because the choice you are making uh, which you will make will influence if not years of your life then your entire life it's always the this card always shows you that there is a choice which need to be made and of course it's better if you choose following your heart your soul and your intuition this way you might be right and things are gonna get well because the lovers usually connected with love and relationship but but that choice is not going to be easy. And again, add several cards to see what choice should uh, be better for you. One card asks, uh, sh what should I do? And another card, what I should not do. The card of the crossroad, the card of the choices which you would have to do. And uh, you would have to think a lot about this choice because this choice will influence your life in love and relationship again the same thing these feelings are strong the emotions are deep uh, but at the same time there are barriers between these two people and a choice has to be made and of course it depending on a situation what choice would be better for both of them or for each one of them this is all 78 arcanas and i hope you love that